Wick Cars and Coffee down in Elon, North Carolina with my good friend Norman and the 1958 Corvette. 1958. Norman, tell us about this car and how you came into uh, acquiring this car. Well, I went to buy this car originally from a friend of mine. Okay. And uh, he said it wasn't for sale. But he said, I got a nice 65 Stingray I'll sell you. So I bought it. And then I kept that. But every year I stay in touch with him. And finally, one year, he said, uh, yeah, my wife's tired of it laying around. So I didn't know what that meant. But I knew I wanted to check into it. So I went down there, and uh, he's right. It was in four rooms, you know, in parts in the frame outside with a motor on it. Okay. And that's how I bought it. Wow, wow, wow. Does some fabulous work to this car. Now, you know, everything looks just the way the 1958 is supposed to. And one of the things I was talking to you about is that one of the things I hate about older cars like this, people try to modernize them. And you said that what you tried to do as much as you possibly could to keep the original parts on this car. That's correct, yes. Yeah. Tell us, tell us something about uh, how she drives and what kind of engine you got in there. It's got a, a, a 283 engine. Uh, it's got two four barrels on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, uh, 270 horsepower. Wait a minute, it was 270 horsepower. Okay. I changed cams. Wow. Uh, so I, it's more drivable now, you okay. know. Okay. And uh, I knew how to. Uh, I knew how to change oil. That's all I knew how to do at the time. Right. And so a <laughs> good friend of mine down in Melbourne, we got together. And so over the years, we gradually put it together about two or three times to get it right. You know, this general area, Elon, Melbourne, Burlington, you can find some real good cars. Now, you said the guy that sold you this car, is that the same guy that sold you the 65? That's yes, correct? that's okay. correct. Yeah. Okay. And you had that for well, over 30-some years? I've had this. Uh, yeah, I had, had this since 92. The other one I had about... 35 years, I guess. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to ask you the big question. Does your wife get to drive this car? No. <laughs> she's capable. Okay. It's a four-speed. She knows how to do it. Right. But she's never driven it. Wow. Now, she drove the 65. Okay. She could go through the gears on that with my daughter. Mm -hmm. They cruise around, you know, but not this one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Now, if she pushed me to it, we'd discuss it. You'd discuss but, it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, Norman, okay. for sharing this Absolutely. 1958 COVID with Cars and Coffee down in Elon, North Carolina. My Thank pleasure. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.